So let's go over what is the percent of that number. So if you had something like what is 20% of 45. So there's a couple different ways to solve this and the first would be with a proportion and so when you do the proportion your proportion would look like this is over of equals percent over 100. You'll also see it as part over whole equals percent over 100. But the is and the of are the words you're going to see more often. So if we put these into that proportion, I have 20%, so that's going to go over 100. Of 45, so 45 is going to go on bottom. And I'm trying to find what the number is, so I'll put an N for the number. So this is a proportion, and cross multiply and divide. So I'm going to do 20 times 45. That's going to be 2 times 45 and then add a 0, so that's going to be 900 equals 100n. Then divide, cross multiply and divide, that's how you solve proportions. So n is going to equal 9. So 9 is 20% of 45. And like I said, there's more than one way to solve this. So let's look at the other way. The other way it's basically the same thing, only instead of multiplying and then dividing, we're going to divide and then multiply. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that 20% and make it a decimal. So make it a decimal, move it two times to the left, I get two tenths. So my equation I can write for that would be two tenths of means multiply. Of is the one word you can always trust in math. It's going to mean multiply. So 2 tenths times 45 equals our number. So 2 times 45 is 90 and then I need one decimal place. So it go right there. So n would still equal 9. So that's dividing and then multiplying instead of multiplying and dividing. And that works when you have the, when you're finding the, or when you have the of and you're trying to find the is. Alright, so let's do a couple more examples. Alright, so a couple more examples. So the first one is, what is 60% of 180? So we're going to solve this with a proportion and an equation. So first we'll do the proportion. So I got 60 over 100, so that's my percent, equals is, I don't know that, so that's my number I'm trying to find, over my of of 180. So now I'm going to cross multiply. So 60 times 180 is going to give me 10,800 equals 100 n. So I'm going to divide by 100. I get n equals 108. If I want to do the equation for that, I change my 60%. to a decimal, so I get 6 tenths times 180 equals my number, so now I need to multiply, 6 times 0 is 0, 6 times 8 is 48, give my 4, 6 times 1 is 6 plus 4 is 10, I have one decimal place in my problem, so 1 in my answer, so I get n equals 108. Alright, so the next example, we got what is 22% of 65. So again, I can set up that proportion. Is over of, is I don't know, of is 65, equals my percent, which is 22 over 100. So now I need to cross multiply, 22 times 65 is 1,430 equals 100n, cross multiply and then divide, so I get n 
equals 14 and 3 tenths. If I was to do that as an equation, I take my 22%, make it a decimal, so that would be 22 hundredths times 65 equals some number. So now I gotta work that out and get a little more room to work that out. So that'd be 65 times 22 hundredths. So 2 times 2 is 10. Carry my 1. 2 times 6 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. It's going to be repeating because it's the same number. So add this up 0, 3, 4, 1. I got two decimals in my problem, so I need two numbers, two digits behind the decimal in my problem, so I need two digits behind the decimal in my answer. So it'll be 14 and 3 tenths. So either way, you can see we're getting the same answer. I also want you to notice on the proportion part of this, that first one I put the uh, percent on the left, and on the second one I put the percent on the right of the equal sign. It doesn't matter. They're equal. They can switch. So if you see it flip-flopped, it's okay. If you have to switch them because it just makes more sense in your head, that's perfectly fine as well because they're equal. It doesn't matter which side of the equal sign the ratios are.